that data center actually was successful enough and it grew up to this. In a year time, we actually managed to build a data center for blockchain technology. At the time, indeed, blockchain main meant mining cryptos, only that. Everybody considered blockchain is cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrencies is blockchain, which is not true. And I will explain you why. But imagine in a few years time, we kept developing this data center. This is actually the pictures of that place where we particularly with our hands and with the team you see here, because most of our team here actually built the business together with us. And we started from this. 2016, we grew up very fast. We are somewhere labeled number fourth or five, fifth data center for blockchain technologies in Europe, that large. But we consider we can even improve a lot. We had enough IT background, we had enough developing background, and we had that actually desire to do something more, to grow our business, to grow our skills, to grow our actually jobs and future, okay? Because it's not enough to, uh, to be thankful to what you have today. You have to look in the future, you have to build your future, and you have to develop your future. So shortly we understood by 2016, 2017, blockchain is a technology, okay? Blockchain is an amazing technology. Cryptocurrencies are just a financial application of the blockchain technologies. But we thought, okay, why don't we look at the bigger picture? Why everybody looks at blockchain just as a financial app? Do we want that much to change the financial world? No. We want to have technology massively adopted. Okay? Why don't, why don't people think of blockchain usage in different other industries than the financial ones? So that is the T0 of our company. When we're motivated enough, we started building capital. We started developing the company to further innovate technology, to further develop technology, and to actually over exceed ourselves. Me and Bogdan, the two guys, with a team that big back in the days. Some of the, uh, the team over here, you, can, uh, you, can, you already met, they are here with us, and they're happy actually to be part of the crypto data funding members. 2017, we consider we can improve and bring the technology and involve the blockchain technology into other industries than the financial ones, such as actually my background, telecom development. Okay, you can bring technology in literally everything because nowadays everything gets digital, everything goes digital. So our dream, our vision was higher. Our dream and vision was higher than actually just building a regular business. It wasn't easy. We had countless sleepless nights developing. We had countless sleepless nights considering where else we can improve innovate where else we can bring blockchain to help developing the technology so that's a t0 when we consider okay what is blockchain does at its best cryptographic algorithms so cryptography okay by the way where crypto word comes from okay cryptography is actually from the anxious ancient greek crypt means hidden graphy means writing okay so cryptography is actually the science the mathematical science of hidden writing so then if we have an amazing encryption algorithm where else can we use it let's use it in actually data transmission models okay because data transmission today relies or, or better said any industry relies today on data transmission from telecom operating systems computers electrical vehicles refrigerators uh, smart vacuum cleaners everything today relies on secure data transmission so that's actually the core of our business development at Crypto Data, secure data transmission. Okay, now it works. So, 2017, we developed the patent called VOBP, Voice Over Blockchain Protocol, which is actually an amazing architecture for computers. It's a technology. Where can we implement this technology? Where can we actually implement secure data transmission? Virtually in everything. Is it enough to 
send secure data between two or more devices. No. We need to further innovate. Our vision, our dream was to actually bring even more. Okay, I can communicate, I can send data from one point to another without being actually biased. But what else we can do? We can develop a secured environment, a secured operating system. So we did. 2018, 2019, we at Crypto Data got to develop, I would proudly say, the world's fourth operating system, okay? So we have Windows as an operating system, okay? We have the Apple operating system, we have the basic Linux, and then we have the Crypto Data OS. actually is the moment when we developed our operating system and we started developing our own devices, our own hardware. First, we developed the inputs, the world's first, okay, the world's first, I will say it again, smartphone with a physical encryption key, with a hardware encryption key. What's the main purpose of that device? Cyber security, protecting users like you guys from the cyber threats, because nowadays it's not enough to have digital things. It's mandatory to protect them. It's mandatory to protect our private lives. It's mandatory to protect our bank accounts, email addresses, credit cards we use on a daily basis. So that's actually the need of privacy and cyber security in everybody's pocket. Impulse was the first amazing device we developed and the world's first, again, is our patent. It's written with these hands by me and Bogdan. So that is actually and was an amazing, amazing achievement for us. But still that's not enough. The vision... <laughs> ...went higher, bigger, okay? We had a higher target than actually building smartphones, building the operating systems. So we considered, okay, we're skilled enough, we can start developing computers. So we did. 2019, 2020. We developed BASP, this tiny little computer you probably have seen here. This actually is a, the world's first. Sorry. This is the world's first cyber security dedicated computer. It comes factory with crypto data operating system. It supports also a multimedia operating system, just like any normal computer. It has plenty of features, gizmos, external displays, and so on. And it does actually everything at its best, and is developed by us 100%. Furthermore, it's not enough to develop a computer or the first generation of, of, uh, of smartphone. You have actually to improve, you have to innovate and bring new technology for the users. You have to bring novelty and develop. Because actually as a businessman, as an entrepreneur, it is very, very important to target as high as possible. You should never rely on what you have today. You should think about building the future and building the future of your business at first. So the next project, the next super device we built is Hyder. And learning from the previous experience, a secured device protecting you from cyber threats is not enough because of course, Imagine you have a scale. Here you have multimedia, and here you have privacy. Between multimedia and privacy, there's a, th a, a fine line. And you have to choose whether you want multimedia, you lose privacy. If you want privacy, you lose multimedia. So then, a device that brings you a lot of cyber security and protection will not be that multimedia. And this is what actually, with Hyder, we wanted to innovate, correct, and bring as a world's first. So by 2021, 2022, Hyder is actually our flagship smartphone, the second generation, which actually has both a multimedia operating system as well a cyber security dedicated environment. Okay? And we are proud to have achieved this. In the meantime, and probably again a world first. A cyber security tool within a multimedia device. Of course, we got to develop uh, the Meter Guardian, which again, it is an amazing tool, an amazing device, both meant to actually 
bring users internet access, bring users Wi-Fi connection, as well as cyber security tools. And as you can see, the core, actually the core of each project we develop at CryptoData is actually cyber security. Yeah? We develop cyber security and implement in various kinds of projects and devices. We develop custom projects for various entities. We run custom projects by ourselves. And I can name a few of them. Successful projects we run, we develop 100% at crypto data live in the market. And I can mention Whisper. How many of you here use Whisper as a communication app? I wish, guys, after the, uh, the event, please download. It is a free app. It will never be paid, okay? It is a free app called Whisper, W-I-S-P-R. You can find it on Play Store, on App Store, everywhere, okay? It is actually a WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram-alike app. Just it is meant to protect your privacy. It does not collect user data. It does not do all the harmful things any other third-party app in the online sphere would do. It is developed by us, and it is actually a free to use, a gift for our users. So please try to rely on Whisper rather than all the other third-party apps that collect unauthorized data. Then, of course, we developed various projects. The encrypted devices we just spoke about. Bank of Energy is an amazing project we run in Europe for the moment for power bank sharing. Momentum Automotive, most likely, many of you already heard that crypto data built a car. What is all about? Do you know? Have you ever heard we built an electrical vehicle? Why, why did we build an electrical vehicle? Just because we can? No. Imagine we develop cyber security technology. Where can we implement the cyber security technology? In by day by day devices, smart house devices, smart city devices. But where else? What other industry goes towards smart things? The automotive industry becomes smarter and smarter. Today's vehicles are not actually anymore mechanical vehicles. They become smart. Smart means cyber security threats. Smart means as long as you have digital things in every product, you should protect it. You should protect yourself and you should protect the device. So we considered our secure data transmission, we considered our technology can be implemented in the automotive industry as well. So in the last four years at CryptoData, we developed a concept car, fully functional, 800 horsepower, fully developed by us, over 100 patents filed as a technology with crypto data, where technology developers, not mass manufacturers, just to make sure everybody understands. But of course, once you develop technology, you want to show it to the world and you want to implement it. So that's actually what the ambition that drove us to build from scratch, from zero, an electrical vehicle, 100% by us, 100% by our engineers, to showcase the world our technology. And by the way, one of our proud advisors, members, is himself Martin Eberhardt, the co-founder of Tesla. The guy who was formerly the CEO of previous to Elon Musk, he's the guy that shared with us passion, ideas, guided us how to build and how to implement technology. Then, of course, crypto data is involved in various activities, such as the non-profit organizations, we finance the Eternity Tree, which is a purely non-profit organization for planting trees, because we feel so. We feel for the environment around us, and we feel to protect the surroundings. Moreover, speaking about technology, as you can see, every single device I've presented, every single project I've presented, speaks about blockchain implementing blockchain as a technology. But how do we do that? Definitely, we have to develop our own blockchain network. Because when you speak about blockchain, when you speak about cybersecurity, using encryption from a blockchain network, you speak about your own development. So that's how Xidan, actually, our own blockchain, went alive. Xidan is the core of our technology. Xidan is the core we rely on, is the technology we rely on, and is actually the the heart and the soul of every single technological device we build. What more? Sales. Of 
course, once you develop technology, on one side you do research and development, so you develop technology. On the other side, you have to sell the technology, you have to sell the devices to the worldwide. How do we do that? So that's how Zixar actually went alive. A year ago, we considered how is the best approach, what is the best approach actually to build a sales structure? Do we go the traditional way of selling devices over Facebook, Google, and paying influencers, bloggers with no engagement? It's a nonsense. We have innovative technology, we have new products, we build new products, and we have the ambition to make something new, to make something better than the others did. We have the ambition to sell something in a different way that even the successful guys from the States did. Okay, look at most of the major corporates in the States. They still approach the old, same, old-fashioned mentality of selling products over a centralized marketing structure, over a centralized marketing strategy, and still we felt that's not enough. So Zixar actually is the successful sales platform built entirely by crypto data, administrated entirely by crypto data, and actually bringing the, our products, bringing our, pro our projects to you guys, bringing the projects and products to our community, so our ambition already exceeded everything that we've seen from different other businesses, and we tried to innovate. 2022, this year, is probably the successful year we ever had at crypto data and I want a round of applause for that is the the year when everybody got to know us when we set it up Zixar as a sales platform but that's not enough 2022 March we launched and showed the worldwide our technology and the electrical vehicle momentum and that is a world's first. And it comes from these hands. From these two hands plus a few hundred, hundred more. You know this gentleman, right? He founded a at least as successful business as we did. That's called Tesla. That guy is the founder of Tesla, and he is actually guiding us towards a successful business. 2022, moreover, it's not enough to develop technology. It's not enough to have a vision, ambition, and a mindset. You need actually to do something to make your products known, to make your, successful, your success known to the others. How do you bring your successful story to the worldwide? How do you share from experience? How do you share your experience with the world wild? It's simple, you go global. That is the word, go global. And as you can see in 10 years, okay, in only 10 years, we got to grow from a $3,000 investment in our company to become actually a worldwide sponsor at first from MotoGP. In the MotoGP, by the way, do you know what MotoGP is? Are you sure? Let me explain you. I think you don't know what it is. There is two major motorsport competitions in the worldwide. One of them is Formula One for the four wheel cars, okay? The other one is the MotoGP, the World Championship for motorbikes, where all the world races. There is 10 teams in the world. And guess what? Crypto Data, as of today, is the owner of one of these MotoGP teams. Guys, that is huge. We got to have our own MotoGP races. It's called the Grand Prix of Austria. And this year, 2023, the Grand Prix of India actually is Crypto Data Grand Prix of India. 
You can Google the news, actually. MotoGP comes for the first time in history in uh, India this year, racing on a track. And that race is actually a crypto data sponsored with a crypto data team running out of 10. So growing a successful business is not only about technology, it's not only about what you do in-house. It's all about how you express your success, how you share the success with the others, how you share the success to the worldwide, and actually make them understand. Replicate, replicate, replicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. It is all about duplicating. Okay, once you see the success story and the success model, you just have to set, focus the mind on it, and do the same. Try to do the same. Target high and try to achieve. Target high and try to achieve. What's all about MotoGP? What do we want to prove with this? We're a technology company and we showcase our products, technology and things. Guys, for you, for the community. Okay? It is all about community. It is all about trustworthiness. It is all about networking. You all know what networking is, right? It's all about networking, valuation, value. Once you're valuable, you have to show it. It's for nothing to have a valuable asset unless you, you expose it, unless you show 